Hi again, everyone. CBS Nights Chief Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony here. Welcome to October. We turned the calendar and we turned weather pattern after only having about a half inch of rainfall for the entire month of September. Today, at least in Tyler and parts of Smith County, we had more than an inch of rain. A noticeable donut hole over here between Center Carthage and Marshall, but rain falling there now, trying to fill in that donut hole. Just a couple of sprinkles around Winona and White House and Troop and Overton over toward Kilgore. Uh, here is that solid area of rain moving up through eastern Nacogdoches County and Angelina County, right through San Augustine County and up to the north through Shelby County. This will continue moving northward and hopefully giving them some beneficial rainfall. Meantime, up here around Emory, we're seeing a heavier shower thunderstorm just to the east of the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. This shower here will move into Sulphur Springs within the next half hour. So overall, the evening forecast really cloudy for most of us. Couple sprinkles here and there. Also sort of muggy, 78. With current temperature at uh, 8 o'clock, 76 at 9 o'clock, and then 75 by 10 p.m. So the under the lights checklist, I'd go ahead and grab the raincoat headed out the door. Uh, waterproof shoes, maybe if there's any puddles around an umbrella and of course that CBS 19 app. So you have that interactive radar over the weekend. There's a 50% chance for a couple of bands of rain and thunder to move through Saturday, Sunday. There's one little pocket of rain that could come through maybe Sunday afternoon as we make it up to about 86 degrees. Otherwise, here's future skycast tonight. Again, I think it dries out overnight except for a couple of little blips here and there. And then tomorrow morning, first little band of showers develops. By about 1 to 2 o'clock, the second band sort of develops as the front moves to the east. Temperatures are in the low 80s, and then maybe that little bit of a leftover shower Saturday night. And then as we head into Sunday, watch right here. just a little pocket of instability that moves overhead between Marshall, Carthage, and Henderson. So a couple of little showers there at about 3 o'clock. The rain chance is about 20 to maybe 30 percent, and that is it. Most of the rainfall now will fall from Mineola, Tyler, to the east, Nacogdoches, Marshall Jefferson picking up maybe an additional quarter of an inch drought around East Texas. Last week it looked like this this week. More of East Texas went into the abnormally dry category. We'll wait and see how today's rain impacts that when the new drought monitor comes out next Thursday. All right, October. Today's October 1st, right? Start of the month, 84 for your average high, 62 your average low. By the end of the month, look at the drop. 73 the average high by the end of the month, 51 the average low. Baylor Scott and White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital seven day forecast. So tomorrow, one or two periods of thunderstorms. Morning low around 68, daytime high of 84. We'll call it a 50% chance of rain. Random rains on Sunday, 30% chance with a morning low of 67, high of 86. And then look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. What a pleasant stretch of weather coming our way with morning lows in the 50s and daytime highs in the low to mid 80s.